When you have a few favorite go-tos, you feel confident that you have a plan in place for success. Today, I wanna to show you a few of my favorite meals and how to make them. So I don't know what you are thinking when you look at this, but this is, these are quite literally my three favorite meals to eat. So what have we got here? I've got a vegetable and a meat and a fat. My favorite vegetable is the Brussels sprout. Okay, so what I did was I got these, they were frozen, I bought them frozen, and I steamed them in the microwave. All I did was put them in a bowl with some cellophane over the top, and I put them in the microwave for four minutes. And because they were frozen, the moisture that was already in them and on them turned into steam and steamed them perfectly. So you don't need to add any water. Then I took a sirloin patty that I got at the store, also frozen, and I put it in a pan, a little bit of olive oil, and I cooked it. It was super easy, flipped it over, very easy, seasoned it a little bit, some Himalayan pink salt, um, and I threw it on the plate next to it. And of course, I like to have a plop of guacamole, great source of fat. The sirloin patty is a great source of protein, and the vegetables are loaded with fiber. They're cruciferous, Brussels sprouts are, and they are loaded with nutrients. You never wanna skip veggies, guys. You're gonna to need to have a veggie with every meal. Never skip your veggies, okay? My second favorite meal is what we call note meal. And we rebels call it note meal because it kind of stands for no oatmeal. We combine those two words and because we don't need oatmeal. So what I have here is I have a quarter cup of chia seeds that I bought in bulk from Winco. And I have a quarter cup of flaxseed meal. You can buy any kind of flaxseed meal, doesn't matter what brand you do. And a one cup of flax milk. I really like flax milk as an alternative to dairy because I don't eat dairy because it has a really great omega profile, uh, zero carbs and sugar, and very low calories. Uh, it, it has a really good consistency, the closest to cow's milk that I've ever found. The great thing about this note meal is I did add a few blueberries. So you're getting that antioxidant. You're getting a little bit of sweetness from the blueberries. Great thing about chia seeds. A little fun fact in case you didn't know. When chia seeds get wet, they become gelatinous and they bind to toxins in your body and help pass them through your body. Great way to detox, right? Uh, I can eat this and a lot of my rebels eat this every single day. Uh, because why? Because it's really high in fiber and having a lot of fiber is a good idea in your diet. And my last meal is, hey, are you ready for it? Good old fashioned eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon, yeah, I know. Eggs and bacon are fantastic. Great source of fat, great source of protein, zero carbs and sugar. So what does that mean? That means it's gonna keep me full for a long time. What I like about eggs and bacon is I can eat them anytime. You don't need to eat eggs and bacon just for breakfast, okay? That's what society brain wants us to believe in. You don't have to do that. Uh, you just take your regular bacon, fry it up in a pan. We like to, Miles and I like to cut ours in half and fry them up in half pieces and two eggs. Of course, there's a pop of guacamole on it. Super, super simple, super nutritious, really good for you. High fat, remember high fat keeps you full for long periods of time, so you're gonna want high fat items. When you're looking at this, you might think, well this is too good to be true, this is too simple. But yeah, it's simple, but it's not too good to be true. Great source of nutrients, great source of fat and protein, and as you can see from all of my items, almost zero carbs and sugar. We wanna keep the carbs and sugar down low, guys. Why? Because we don't want to sugar insulin. Your body cannot lose weight or lose fat in the presence of insulin. So keeping your insulin as low as possible is number one. Gotta keep that insulin down, guys. And of course, the high fat is gonna keep you full for longer. That way you don't kill everybody while you're trying to lose weight, right? Because you're gonna, not gonna be hangry or hungry. You're gonna feel satiated. You're gonna feel good. High fat diet regulates hormones. It gives you energy, it helps you sleep better, it helps your hair and nails grow. That's why I choose a lot of high fat items. I think these are gonna come in handy to, for you. I think you're gonna um, like my choices. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. For more Code Red favorites, click the link below and get your copy of my Code Red cookbook. You can also take advantage of my free resource, the Code Red Lifestyle Guide. Thanks so much for watching my video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be informed when I come out with a new video. 
I wanna hear from you. I wanna know which one of my items you like the most, huh? Which one? Comment below, let me know. I wanna know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video.